When will any of the last eight spots in the West be clinched? The playoffs are just around the corner, and we only have one team in the West that has clinched the playoffs. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Match Day 36 Predictions. We're going to do things a little bit different here. We're going to do like a little bit of a speed run, so let me know in the comments below if you like this way better or if you like the old way more. But first up, we have CF Montreal versus Houston Dynamo. Currently... Montreal haven't looked that great in their last five. Houston's coming off of a U.S. Open Cup final, but then drawing in their last match. Montreal need to win to stay in a playoff spot. Houston has no problem. I think they are going to make the playoffs no matter what. It just might be where that is in the standings. But I think that CF Montreal will get this done at home, one to nothing over Houston Dynamo. So that takes us to Charlotte FC versus Toronto FC. We know that Toronto FC are eliminated. Charlotte have a chance, but this is also a must win for them, in my opinion, because two of their last couple matches are against Inter-Miami, so they need points now. And I think that they get it done here, even though I think Toronto might try to pull that upset to ruin some things for people. But I think that Charlotte get this done 2-1 to one over Toronto. So that leads us into FC Cincinnati versus New York Red Bulls. Currently, the Red Bulls have let me down. I thought for sure that they would be easily into the playoffs at this point because I thought that they would beat Chicago Fire last week, and that would have put them right there in a spot where Cincinnati have won the Supporter Shield, so congratulations to Cincinnati. And I just don't think that the Red Bulls have enough, even though this is pretty much a must-win for them. I don't think that they have enough to beat Cincinnati at TQL State, and I think that Cincinnati get the job done one to nothing over the Red Bulls. So two teams there in the East that have clinched the playoffs but need to fight to get a home field advantage game. You have the Revs versus Columbus Crew. Again, the Revs are third, Columbus are fifth. These teams need points to stay in that top four to get a home field advantage, but I think that Columbus Crew, they have looked well. I know that they drew against the Union. I think that they go on the road here and they get another draw. I think that this match is in a 2-2 draw there at Gillette Stadium. Next up, we have Philadelphia Union versus Atlanta United. Both of these teams, just like the last two teams, they're really fighting to try to get in that top four to get a home game. And there's not much that I think can separate these two teams but I think Philadelphia Union are too good at Subaru Park. And Atlanta, I believe, have never won there or they have maybe won once, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So I think the Philadelphia Union get the job done at home 2-1 to one over Atlanta United. Moving on, we have Austin FC versus DC United. I think DC United still have a chance to make the playoffs there in the East, depending on how this match goes for them. Austin, on the other hand, they have been a disappointment so far, but I got a feeling there's a little bit of fire building because some of the players have come out and spoke about the team and, and how poor their performance has been and everything like that. But I don't think that they get the job done at home at Q2 Stadium. I think that this match ends in a draw one-to-one. -one. Now, this is pretty much a playoff game for these two teams. You have Chicago Fire versus Inter-Miami. My choice here in this prediction is based on Messi not playing. I don't know if it's happening. There might have been rumors that he is. We don't know, and it'll be a game-time decision in my opinion. But my prediction here is Chicago Fire get the job done at home. They are currently 11th, where Inter-Miami are 13th there in the East. Both have a chance to get in the playoffs. But like I said, I think Chicago Fire get it done at home one to nothing over Inter-Miami. Next up, we have FC Dallas versus Colorado Rapid. We know that the Rapids cannot make the playoffs. FC Dallas are currently sitting in that ninth position there in the West. So to me, it's a must win. They're at home. They have to get the job done. Colorado, though, are coming off a of win against Austin at home. But that's against Austin, who have been terrible, in my opinion, this season. And Dallas, with the draws recently, I think that they got something going here. And I think that they beat Colorado Rapids 2 to nothing there at Toyota Stadium. Next up, we have Nashville SC versus Orlando City. Currently, Orlando are second, where Nashville SC are currently seventh there in the East. Both teams are looking okay right now. 
Orlando's coming off of a win, where Nashville's coming off of a draw, but that w they were playing against Seattle Sounders, which Seattle are up and down, and very inconsistent, but so has Nashville been. Nashville need to win this match to get a chance to get into a top four spot for a home for a home match there in the playoffs. I know that they're a little outside of it, but you never know what's going to happen down this final stretch. But I think that they get the job done at Geodis Park, and I think that they win one to nothing over Orlando City. So next up, we have LAFC versus Minnesota United. Currently, LAFC are fourth in the West. Minnesota's just sitting outside the playoffs there at 11th. Minnesota's coming off of a draw with the Earthquakes, and LAFC are coming off of what I would say, if I was a part of LAFC, is a disappointing loss against Real Salt Lake at home. We know that Real Salt Lake are a good road team, though, and I went against them this past week, and I thought LAFC were going to win that match. I'm going to go with LAFC in this match against Minnesota. I think LA are just a better team, and I think that they're going to want to make up for that loss against Real Salt Lake. And I think that they win this match 3-1 to one over Minnesota United. So our second to last match for the midweek, we have Seattle Sounders versus the LA Galaxy. Currently, Seattle are sitting third in the West, where the Galaxy are sitting 13th. Again, it... If LA Galaxy want to get in the playoffs, they've got to win this match. But it's on the road at Lumen Field, and I I just can't see them doing it. I know that they have put up three goals in their last two matches. I just don't think that's going to happen here. I think Seattle has a better defense than that, and I think that Seattle wins this match 3-1 to one over the Galaxy. For our last match, we have Vancouver Whitecap versus St. Louis City. We know that St. Louis have already clinch the playoffs, and clinch that top spot in the West. So congratulations to them. It's fantastic. Their story on the West side there for their first season and how they're, you know, number one, 17 wins. Uh, it's fantastic for them. Vancouver, on the other hand, sixth place, having a pretty good season so far. Last two matches they have drawn. For this one, I have to say that St. Louis have been kind of inconsistent and in – away matches really and I think that now that they have clinched first place in the West they're not they're going to put be on like cruise control in my opinion so I think that the Vancouver Whitecaps actually win this match at home one to nothing over St. Louis City so that is all for match day 36 go vote on the community tab for which match you want to watch for the watch long and give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you like the content and we will see you for the live stream